Welcome to Real Estate Radio LA. I am your host, Gil Ascarati, the realtor to the stars, and you are all stars to me. I talk a little bit about just uh, my past. This is a real estate show, and so why should you listen to me? And for those of you who are listening to me for the first time, or just a recap, I've been in the industry, the real estate industry, for close to 25 years. My parents, my mom is in the industry, my brother is a realtor, and we used to do loans, and we've owned real estate companies. We've been with big franchises like Remax, and we've been independents. We've owned our own company. We've bought and fixed and flipped. So pretty much like the promo says, I've done it all. And what we're trying to do here is sort of give you a snapshot of what's going on right here, right now in Los Angeles regarding real estate. So interest rates are going up. That's a big deal. The political environment, inflation, how that affects you, your day-to-day life, but your long-term goals in real estate. So hopefully this show sheds a little light and helps you do what you need to do to have that retirement and reach that American dream. And American dream isn't just, if you've owned your home, I mean, you bought a home that used to be the American dream, just buying a home. But is that really it? It's financial freedom. It's financial independence. It's peace. It's peace of mind. We're li- we live in the greatest country in the world. But what if we live in the greatest country in the world, but we are com- completely engulfed by stress, financial stress. And we listen to the news all day and the world is coming to an end. And what's going on in Europe and what's going on here politically can really get into your head. And then you do nothing. I always say the confused mind does nothing. So in this program, it's helping you to decide on what to do. Keep real estate, buy more real estate, buy down your interest rates, all the little tricks of the trade. So again, Gil asks karate, please take out, I'm gonna go through some numbers today. Take out a a piece of paper and a pencil and put my phone down in your phone. My phone number, let's correct that. Put my cell phone in your phone permanently. Refer it to your friends and family, the people that you trust. If you're listening to the station, we are like-minded, okay? That is why I'm here, talking to the people that I love and respect and we think the same. So, 818-632-8006. And also friend me on any kind of social media or look me up on Facebook. My name is Gil, G-I-L, and as karate, that's A-Z like zebra, and like karate, I used to say the as karate kid. So karate with a C, -C A-Z-C-A-R-A-T-E. So it's Gil as karate, look me up on any kind of social media that you are on. Friend me on Facebook, instant message me, but you will be surprised, like everyone is, is when I actually pick up the phone. So if you have a quick question, if you have a scenario, if you need to buy and sell, please refer to me and refer me to your friends and family. So the reason I want you to take out a piece of paper and a pencil is because you may, I may be throwing a lot of numbers at you and I don't want to do that. I would say, you know, doing math on radio is like giving a haircut over the phone. It's going to be very difficult. I don't want to confuse you, but interest rates is a big deal right now that's what people are talking about it's math you're buying two things you're buying real estate and you're buying a mortgage so i want to help you navigate that but before i do that i have to tell you that my dre number is 0129-8646 this show is for entertainment and information purposes only and it's not intended to give you legal or tax advice, so please consult your local professional regarding your particular situation. But if I was you, I would listen to me because I'm going to do it for free. All righty. So you've got my contact information. You've got a piece of paper and a pencil out. you got your husband and wife. You're sitting there, and you're listening to Gil Ascarati on the radio. Okay? So hopefully I can build your, you know, build your trust. Anything to do with real estate and I mean that and at the end of the show if you hold on hopefully you can listen to the whole show I'm going to give you referrals from all sorts of you know people that I've done business with that I trust that you just need you know maybe you're not selling right now maybe you're not buying right now but you need the term my guy or the painter or an attorney or going through divorce so stick with me but the topic is interest rates 
all right? And they've gone up from as low as historic lows. They were so low, artificially low, and you didn't do what you should have done, or maybe you did do it, and when they thought it was 4%, you didn't think they were gonna go down, you just didn't wanna do it again, and went down to 2.5%, but you didn't do what you didn't do, so it doesn't really matter. Right now, interest rates, A paper, A paper means very good credit, good income, and 20% down at least. Okay, that's A paper. And we're gonna use the example of $1 million, just a nice round number, and you know in California and in Los Angeles, a million dollars is not a lot. So a million dollars, okay? 20% down, that means you're getting an $800,000 loan. You're putting $200,000 down. Again, I'm gonna try to go slow. $800,000 loan. You used to pay 3.5%. Now you're gonna pay 6.5%. What is the difference, All right? Isn't that what we're talking about? We're saying, oh my God, my payment went up because my interest rate went up. But you weren't saying that when the prices were going up 10, 15, 20% a year. So if the price went up, of course your payment went up. So again, it's there's two factors, the price of the house and the price of the money. So right now money is not on sale anymore, 6.5%. Your payment would be round numbers, $5,000 for an $800,000 property. I'm sorry, a million dollar property, an $800,000 loan. Got that? $5,000. People say, I missed it. I missed it. I should have, I could have, and I didn't. Right now, if you are in a situation where you want to buy or you need to buy, for whatever reasons. Remember, there's a lot of advantages to buying real estate, to owning your own real estate. What's a bad deal? Renting. That's a bad deal. So are you gonna rent for the six, seven, eight years while this thing turns around? 10 years maybe? You're gonna wait that long? You're not gonna get a tax write-off? If you don't have kids and you don't have own property, you are in the highest tax bracket. Those are the biggest tax deductions, income tax deductions. So sometimes, if you're paying a little bit more to own your house than renting, with the tax deduction, it's actually cheaper to own. Again, we're gonna go through the numbers. So if a million dollar house and $200,000 down at 6.5% gets you a $5,000 mortgage, how much would it cost to rent a million dollar house? Let's say $5,000. So if it costs the same to own it as to rent it, it still makes sense to buy in this market. Don't listen to your neighbor. Don't listen to your, you know, your, your brother-in-law who knows everything. He doesn't. If your particular situation is lined up for you to buy real estate, it's okay to buy real estate right now. It's always a good time to make a good investment. It's never a good time to make a bad investment. So. Long term, if you're going to be in California for a while, 10, 15, 20 years or longer, buy real estate. Don't rent. It costs you less to own it than to rent it. Right? I hope I made my point. $5,000 is your mortgage. But some people still live in the past and say, my gosh, but that same house would have cost me $4,000 a year ago. Okay. Why don't we do this? Since, since money is not on sale anymore, what if we get that million dollar house down in price? What do I mean? Right now there's more inventory than there was. There was a supply and demand problem so that 900, 800,000, 900,000 dollar house went up to a million bucks. There was 30 offers on it. That's not happening anymore. So now you've actually got more time to shop. You have more inventory to look at. It's not a bad situation. The slowest times of the year are during the holidays. Right now, sellers that are on the market have to sell. Sellers that don't have to sell are not gonna put it on the market or are gonna wait till April, May, June. That makes sense? 
So it's a better time to negotiate right now during the holidays, right? Does that make sense? People that are on the market right now have to sell. So that million dollar house, if the agent did their job correctly and is there wor is worth their commission, they told that seller, hey, it's not a million bucks anymore. Let's price it at 900,000. So now it's 10%. 10% down, it went from a million dollars, now it's down to 900,000. Your goal is to get to 800,000. Why? Because those of you that live in the past say, gosh darn it, if I would have bought a year ago or two years ago and I went out my interest rate, I'm gonna get your payment down the same today than it would have been a year or two ago. That's my goal and hopefully I'm conveying that. So a million dollar house is now listed for 900,000. Your goal, is to get it to 800,000. Some people will, some people won't. And that will put your math at the same and you can live with yourself and you can sleep well and say, you know what, I didn't miss it. You can refinance later. Interest rates aren't gonna be this high forever. Two things you're buying, a mortgage and money. Money's not on sale, even though it's still not a crazy, crazy interest rate, right? It's still six and a half percent. It's not a great interest rate because what they were, but it's not a horrible interest rate and they're still going up. So get it now, okay? So now, if we can get that price down from 900,000 to 800,000, are the seller gonna do it? Some will and some won't, right? And you look, but at least you're getting closer to your goal of getting that, that payment down to where it was before at $4,000 instead of $5,000, okay? And that's what I'm trying to do here. So if we can also buy that rate down, and I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit after the break about buying that rate down and helping there, having the seller maybe finance some of your closing costs or help you give, give you the money so you can buy that rate down. And then I'm also gonna talk about little tricks on how to get that price down from 900 to 800,000, okay? Remember, Negotiation. The world doesn't give you what you deserve. It gives you what you negotiate, okay? So we're gonna talk a lot uh, about that after the break. We're gonna do um, a lot of who uh, Gil's list. There's Angie's list, there's Craig's list, and then there's Gil's list. So we're gonna do that. So again, have a piece of paper and pencil ready for after the break that you can take down some notes. Again, my phone number and my name, Gil Ascarati, 818-632-8006. And you can always go to my website at realestateradiola.com. That's realestateradiola.com. And if you want to listen to my past shows, go to AM870, The Answer. Find me. Aren't you curious what I look like? Aren't you curious? The only way to find out. Find me on social media. Find me on Facebook. Go to am870theanswer.com and look me up and you can listen to all my past shows. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to Real Estate Radio LA. So we were talking numbers, and I hope I'm not confusing you. We're talking numbers, how to get the price down. At the end of the day, we buy on payment, right? I've talked about this before where people go, I can't afford a $60,000 car. Oh, can you afford 500 bucks a month? Yeah, then you can afford a $60,000 car. Because with a lease, the reason leases were invented, car leases, was to get that payment down. You never own it, you're always leasing it. Some people like it, some people don't, it doesn't matter. It's something that got the payment down where it's comfortable, as opposed to $1,000 a month for a car, now you're paying 500, now you can afford a $60,000 car. So again, this is not Car Radio LA, this is Real Estate Radio LA. We were talking about you negotiate, okay? If you're not a good negotiator, that's what I'm here for. Right? We look at all the factors and who is negotiable. Again, if a seller is on the market right now, they're very negotiable. If they've been on the market 30, 60 days, they're negotiable. A year or two years ago, the average days on the market was 17 days. 17. I was, actually, I'm gonna correct myself. The low was eight to 15. There's medium and average, okay? Don't wanna confuse you, doesn't really matter. Between eight and 15 days, a year or two years ago. Now it's 47 to 50 days. So when someone's on the market and they put their market on, the, they put their house on the market in September and it went away. 
and, and it didn't go, it didn't sell. And then October went, came and went. And then daylight savings. And all of a sudden they feel the holidays are here and they've been on the market 60 days. If they haven't reduced their price, they don't have a realtor that's doing their job. You should not be on the market 60, 90 days. If you haven't sold your house or you tried to sell your house and it expired and all these agents are calling you up saying, Hey, um, I see you, if you, your listing, if you can correct that, I see your listing did not sell. I'm such a great agent. I have a bunch of buyers. Let me list your house. Well, if they had a bunch of buyers, they would have bought it already. So what we want you to do is don't pay any attention to all the calls you're going to get when the, when your listing expires. That means you signed a six month listing agreement with the agent. All of a sudden the market turned, you weren't negotiable. You didn't want to come down, maybe a little stubborn. Your agent wasn't strong enough to give you good advice and wasn't able to give you enough reasons to lower your price. And here you are three, four, five, six months later, you took it off the market and everybody's calling you. Okay. Don't listen to them. They're, they're just, they're just saying what they have to say. We're trained to say that call me and I'll tell you the truth. Okay. So you didn't reduce you're on the market, 60 days seller, 90 days. And what do we've got? We've got December coming Add another 30 days to that. And then January and everybody's getting back to, you know, back to work and new year's resolutions, another 90, another 60 days. So now you're on the market for almost four to five months. Is that seller negotiable? Of course they're negotiable. Okay. Then you negotiate the rate down. You tell your seller, give me $7,500. Okay. That's not a lot. A seller will do that to help you qualify. $7,500 is enough to bring your interest rate down from six and a half percent to 6%. Okay. And that will adjust your payment another couple hundred bucks. Okay. So now you're getting closer to that goal. Maybe you get that $900,000 to 850. You buy your rate down, that gets it down a couple hundred bucks. You're almost at the same payment as you would have been if your payment if, if two years ago, your interest rate was three and a half percent. Okay. I hope that made sense. Here's an, here's another little cheat sheet. Okay. This is what I usually do when someone says, Oh yeah, but that's just the payment itself. Right? How about my property taxes? This is how you compute property taxes real quick. If it's a million dollars, it's a thousand dollars a month. If it's $800,000 sales price, it's $800 a month. If it's $500,000 sales price, it's 500 bucks a month. Real simple. Okay. So you figure your payment. Now you're, I like to put my property taxes in my payment. I do not want to have these big bills twice, twice a year to pay my property taxes. And guess when, guess when the second one is due December, right before Christmas. Ah, uh, no, no, thank you. I've got enough expense. I got three girls, a beautiful wife and an expensive mom. No, I'm just kidding. But what it is, is it's, Christmas time. Sometimes I'm on commission. Sometimes it's abundant and sometimes it's not. And sometimes it's the end of the year and you're doing all this. Stuff. And now I've got to pay six, seven, eight thousand dollars in one shot for property taxes. So I recommend putting them in your, your loan, your mortgage payment paid all together. Okay. So that's a little cheat sheet. I hope that was helpful on, on conveying when somebody says, Oh, your payment's going to be X. Well, what about property taxes? 500,000, 500 dollars a month. 800,000, 800 bucks a month. Okay? So I hope that I hope that helped. Um, again, getting that price down and you're looking at somebody who's been on the market 60, 80, 90 days, 120 days, they're negotiable. And I will help you do that. Um, I also want to change subjects, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start talking about a couple of other things. Um, call me on the details and I will put you in contact with my lenders. If you want to do a reverse mortgage, my last week's show was about reverse mortgage. I have a lot of reverse mortgage contacts that are good for you. Remember, I work all over the country. So if you have property somewhere else, 
let's talk about that. Reverse mortgage, you have to live in it, okay? But it's also a great plan if you wanna sell something here and go somewhere else and live in it. Let's talk about that. I'm here for you. There's a little scam alert. Scam alert. This actually came out for all the realtors. The LA, uh, LADWP, you're gonna get a text or a phone call that's saying that this is a field technician with Los Angeles Department of Water and Power, and they're ready to disconnect the water on your listing. They also do this to elderly people, they're due to all everybody, and they're saying, hey, I'm going over there right now to disconnect your water, unless you send us some money right now, okay? That is a scam, please don't fall for it. The DWP will send you letters and plenty of notices and put something on the door if they are going to disconnect your water or your electricity or your gas, okay? So please don't fall for that. Um, we talked about uh, different services. I like this one, virtual staging. Remember, I had a good friend of mine, a guy named Les Furtick. I was selling his house in Tarzana, and he's an older guy, and he's a, a perfectionist, and his house was beautiful, and he was torn, but he's also in his 80s. He was torn between taking, selling, and buying. He could buy, but he didn't want to have his house empty. It didn't look as good because he had a beautiful backyard and beautiful, uh, you know, furniture in the backyard and his pool table and his TV. He felt it would sell more. It would sell for more if it was staged, which is expensive. Staging is expensive, or it, or if it had his furniture in there. And I said, Les, I got you, buddy. Go and live your life. Let's buy you that other house, empty out the house, and we did virtual staging. This is online. It looks like the bed is in there. It looks like the dining room is in there. You get to go shopping. You do all the stuff. The, uh, the pool table was in there. The patio furniture was in there, but it wasn't in there. When they got there, they saw the house. So that is a marketing, that is a marketing tool. Again, if you need any kind of referrals, California Deluxe Windows, Aaron, a good friend of mine. I absolutely love that company and love the person behind the company. Arif Hallaby is wonderful. I'm actually referring him somebody, somebody right now for a house I'm selling in Santa Clarita. If you're looking for an attorney, probate attorneys, I'm actually got a probate out in Bakersfield. So I go from Bakersfield, Santa Clarita, Los Angeles, Orange County, property management, reverse mortgage, a lender, a painter, anything to do with real estate, please feel free to reach out to Gil Ascarati at EXP Realty. I am also going to have a beautiful Christmas toy drive on December 18th on Sunday at my office at the village in Woodland Hills. Please bring your kids, your grandkids, or just come on by and meet me, drop off some toys, and take a picture with Santa, Mrs. Claus, and the Grinch. And it may be me. It may be me. Not guaranteeing it, because I'm thinking Grinch or Elf. I'm torn. I'm really torn. Maybe you can help me. Reach out to me at 818-632-8006. Send me a text. Anything to do with real estate and help me. Should I be the Grinch or should I be Elf? Gil Ascarati at realestateradiola.com. Katie, can you still say God bless you? You can. Well, God bless you, everybody. God bless America and God bless our troops.